What does it mean? I told him to be here. You told him yourself? In person? Yes, myself, in person. I'm concerned that you don't trust me. As am I. Perhaps you'll arrive with the others. Walk with me. So, how go things in the palace? Honestly, it's difficult. Mosinigo keeps his circle close. I have tried to lay the groundwork, making suggestions, but he has other voices at his ears. Then you must work hard. You must become part of his inner circle. See, si, I understand. But it's harder than I expected. And why is that, Carlo? I don't know. He just... Uh, the Doge doesn't like me. I wonder why. It's not my fault. I keep trying to please him. I learn what he craves and I have it delivered. The finest jams from the orchards of Sardinia. The newest fashions from Milano. Yes, and that's called being a sycophant. <laughs> a what? What did you call me? A doormat. A flatterer. A bootlicker. Need I go on? Bastardo. You don't know what it's like. You don't understand the pressure in there. Oh, I don't understand pressure! No, you have no idea! You are a government <laughs> official! I am two steps from the Doge himself. I am beside him day and night. You wish you could be where I am! Are you done? Hardly. You listen to me now! No. The Doge can be recruited to our cause, I'm sure of it. Just... I need a little more time. Time is not a thing we have in great supply. Oh, Get out of the way! Fuori da via! How long can you keep running, eh? Keep moving. Is it much further? Don't be such a little girl. Buongiorno, cousin. Signor Carlo? We thought Emilio would be with you. Emilio is dead. What? How? The assassin. The same one who hunted down the Pazzi. He's here in Venezia. E così? Silvio, did you not know? He could be anywhere. He could be here right now and we might not even know. He struck Emilio inside his own palazzo. And so? What of our plans? There is no longer time for subtlety, my brothers. We must act now. But Marco, I'm so close. A few more days, if I can just... No. It happens this week. 
We should keep moving. And what does the Spaniard have to say to this change of plan? You can ask him yourself soon enough. He's here? From Roma? So I've heard. Good. Perhaps he's made a decision. All right, then. About what, cousin? About which of us shall step into the robes of the dog? I didn't know there was a decision to be made. Surely the choice is obvious to all. Obvious indeed. It should be the one who organized the entire operation. The one who came up with the idea of how to save the city. There is no lack of value in tactical intelligence, good Silvio. But it is wisdom one needs to rule. Do not think otherwise. Calma, calma, amici. Please. There's no need for this. You know it's not up to either of you. For all we know, you may not even choose my body. <laughs> and why not me? I'm the one who's done all the hard work. Basta! We wait for his arrival. Are you sure it's coming? I've dropped something down the front of yes. my brain. Yes! Signoria, we should move a little faster. I feel eyes on us. Thank you, Dante. We will move at your pace. This guard's a good find. How much did you pay for it? Perhaps not as much as he deserves. He saved my life on two occasions. Though he's not much of a conversationalist. Enough with your inane prattle. The choice of Doji was never up to any of you. And you were never given permission to make plans. Forgive us, Maestro. We wish only to serve. The plan is this. Doji Mochenigo will die tonight. And once that it's been done, Marco shall take his place. We ringrazio umilmente, maestro. <coughs> Good. Messer Grimaldi, you are closest to Mochenigo. You work the most vital. Serve us well, and it won't be forgotten. Walk with me. I don't want any blood spilled, you understand? It must appear to all that he goes quietly. Jeff, the master. When are you closest to the I have full run of the palace. He may not care to hear what I have to say, but he trusts me by now as one of his own. Bravo. Then I want you to infiltrate at the kitchen and close it easily. So be it. Marco, can you furnish us with a suitable toxin on short notice? I defer to my cousin. That is really his area of expertise. Very good, very good. Ah, Silvio. I am at your service, my son. What can you bring to get this done? I will confer with my associates in the streets, but chances are good that I can procure some tenderel. Yes, I like that. It is a most effective form of arsenic, and difficult to trace. Uh, then it's the site. Forgive me, Maestro, but is this not perhaps a tad dangerous for you, involving yourself so intimately with the minutiae of our plans? I feel the need to involve myself more directly. 
The Pazzi disappointed us in Firenze. I pray you will not do the same. Do not worry this time. The Pazzi were a bunch of foolish... The Pazzis were a potent and venerable family, reduced to rubble by one young assassin. Do not underestimate this troublesome foe who now haunts your city. Or the same fate will befall the Barbarico. I want this done promptly. Bene, I must return to Roma. Time is of the essence. Do not fail us. I should have kept my eyes on them. I need to go and see Antonio if I have any hope of salvaging this mess I've made. Salute, bello mio. Come stai? You back to see me already? Desolato, mia cara. But I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio. It's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Ezio, is everything all right? Carlo Grimaldi and the Barbarigo are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one of their own. They will have all of Venezia, their entire fleet, in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. Then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. And the support of all my men. And women. Grazie, amici. But, Ezio, 
I must warn you, it's not going to be so easy this time. Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why we like you, Ezio. Come, let's go take a look. We'll come up with a plan. Speak this way, Georgia. Terrible. No, treachery like this no longer surprises me. When I was a child, we were taught that the nobles were just and kind. I believed it. Though my father was only a cobbler, and my mother a scullery maid, I aspired to be much more. I studied hard. I persevered. But the nobles would never have me. If you are not born one of them, acceptance is impossible. So I ask you, Ezio, who are the true nobles of Venezia? Men like Carlo Grimaldi and Marco Babarigo. No! I say we are the thieves and mercenary and whores. No While we work to save this city and its people, the nobles seek to make it their plaything. We need to scout the palazzo carefully. See it from every angle. We just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo. Or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. Do you have any ideas? I assume the front door is out. <laughs> Va bene. We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. So, what do you think? We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the Dodge before we're able to get through all these guards. Look at that. Archers everywhere. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side.
there a decency law that applies to just such things? Bene, we're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the basilica. Shall we? Ezio, look! Isn't that him? Grimaldi! Don't you understand what I'm offering you, Signore? Listen to me, please. Or this will be your last chance. How dare you! I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diavolo! Let's go. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. <laughs> 